Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you haven't uh, come across one of my videos before, um, I'm Gavin from Tag Rugged Steel Products and what I do, I make motorcycle products and uh, work on bikes and sidecars. Uh, this bike I've got in with me now is a customer uh, and a good friend. Uh, he wants it tidying up, uh, in between pretty much fully restored and tidied up. So he doesn't want every single thing making perfect, not like I done on the KX500 if you haven't seen that already. Uh, so he just wants this up and running and he wants to use it. We got a WR250 and this is a 1985 and this is one of the first water-cooled uh, two-strokes in the Husqvarna range. Uh, the, the complete bottom end is still the same as the air-cooled so you can use like the gears and stuff like that in the uh, water-cooled. So yeah, uh, I've got a, a 250 um, Husqvarna WR uh, air-cooled and the engines are very similar, but the plastics tank, um, seat, air filter and all that is different. So um, yeah, on this bike, uh, we got a lot of work to do on it. So suspension needs complete overhaul. We need to send off the uh, front uh, top forks uh, to get re-chromed. Uh, wheels need to be rebuilt. The engine needs to be stripped uh, and a full going over. Uh, we'll uh, de-blast the engine and uh, give it a new fresh um, uh, coat of powder. Uh, everything is pretty much seized. This is how it come to me. You can see it's missing a lot of stuff. There's a lot of corrosion. Um, so yeah, you know, he wants to keep the uh, uh, this uh, two-stroke pipe. So I'll just uh, blow the dents out and get it best as I can, and then I'll put a high temperature paint over the top. Uh, which, is, which I can do in the powder so it'll look good. The rags are good, so what I'll do with the radiators, I will be blast them and give them a coat of powder. Um, the wheels, the rims, we can get away with the rims. Like he said, he wants to still use it. So I will uh, replace the spokes, um, uh, blast the hubs and powder coat the hubs. They will look brand new. So we'll do that same front and back. Uh, rear suspension. That needs a complete overhaul, so we'll strip that down and get that sent off and get that uh, overhauled. Um, we have got all sorts of parts on order, front fender, rear fender, uh, seat cover, uh, plastics, pretty much all the, the hardware and stuff. Haven't broke the engine yet, so that's next job. Well, our next job is, I've got to do some fabricating on it, uh, foot pegs. Uh, need to sort out them, they're not working at all, so we'll check the holes correct and everything. Kickstart needs sorting out, which are very hard to come by, so I'll make a new brush for that. Fix that. Missing some tabs here on the side panel, so we'll fix that. Uh, fabricate onto the frame before I powder coat the frame. Uh, end of the can, he wants to keep this. So this is all damaged around here, so what we'll do, we'll take an inch out of here and drop it all back in, one inch. Uh, what else? Uh, electrics are all a mess, so we'll need to rip all them off and have a good going over them. And yeah, so we, and I'll probably put flat slide carb on it as well, just to give it a bit of a uh, bit more life to it, and it will stop a stop a bit of bogging down on it. So flat slide uh, carbs work a lot better than the round slide carbs. And that's about it, really. So the next video you'll probably see is this starting to be assembled. Oh no, next video will be the engine, so I'll split the engine and uh, have a look in there and see what's what and uh, just give you guys a bit of a heads up if, if there's a part that is worn, you know to look out for it or you use strip yours. So this is a WR250 1985 and I am looking forward to seeing how it comes out. Uh, I do know parts are seriously hard to get for this bike. and. Uh, you'll have to look around Europe. There are a lot of people out there, but you know you can get uh, remolded stuff, remolded plastics, and that. You do have to do a bit of work to them. You have to like redrill them and cut out the the holes that you want. Um, but apart from that, yeah. So yeah, ne next video is going to be the engine. So I'll sp split the engine and I'll show you guys, uh, you know, how rough the engine is, and uh, and so I'll give you a quick look around now. 
here we have it. So you can see this kickstart is well and truly worn. Uh, Reblock is gone and someone's <laughs> silicone around that, it's mad. Uh, we've got a broken off tab here which holds the side panel. Uh, water pump is all, I don't know, it's all cracked and damaged. Um, hoses, need new hoses. See radiators, need new rad guards there. Uh, whatever, here's the forks, they're all uh, corroded, so they'll definitely need to be uh, um, re chromed. Here's the one rad, pretty corroded around the top, so we'll give them a coat of powder. The engine, all nasty, so we'll give that coat of powder. Uh, missing the plastic off here, get a new filter in there. Give all these nice uh, brackets, uh, we'll uh, be blast these and polish them up, uh, all the alloy parts. Uh, the swinging arm, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this. I don't know if I'm going to polish it part part and be blast it. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Chain slider, I need a new one of them. Uh, rear brake lever, not too bad. We'll put some new bushes in there and we'll sort that out. Uh, rims, rims are good. So we'll keep the rims and we'll put new stainless steel spokes in, central wheels, uh, CC products, CC product spokes, so they're, they're the ones to use. Uh, made in Sweden as well, so we'll put them back on. Side stand, we'll take this off and we'll tidy this all up and get a new spring on there, get it working. Uh, the foot pegs, you can see there now straight away, it's not how it's meant to be, so I just whacked a bolt through there to get it through. Uh, rear brake lever, we need a new one of them. Um, new rubbers, we'll tidy this pipe up, this is a right mess, we'll polish this can, take an inch off here. Uh, yeah, oh, the front disc, uh, front caliper and front reservoir needs rebuilding, so we'll tidy that up. We'll put a aftermarket throttle tube on there, new uh, throttle cable, new brake line. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel for lots of other interesting videos. Cheers.